50% of success is just showing up. And that's why I love saying, show up, have fun, and always do your best. What is up friends, it is Mladen here and welcome back to another video. We're back in the location, we've got the setup, we're a little bit prepared, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, what? <laughs> Where's my English? <laughs> As usual, I have no idea what I'm talking about, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Will Smith, give me guidance, please. I need some guidance, I need some acting lessons. Fifty percent of success is just showing up, and that's why I love saying, "Show up, have fun, and always do your best." Actually, I'll show you now. It's a consistent reminder that I have. I don't know if you can see it. Holy shit! I almost died. Show up, have fun, and always do your best. It's a pretty important component when you're operating your day-to-day -day activities in life, personally and professionally as well. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the ripple effect. I had the absolute pleasure and opportunity to have been trained by uh, a lovely lady from my uh, workplace where I work in banking. I had found out that after the training, she actually works as a psychotherapist or a psycho nurse, one of the two. And forgive me, if you are, if she is watching this, I'm so sorry that I just butchered that. However, she is in the mindset space. And if there's anything that I love is people that take the time to educate people on mindfulness and well-being and empathy and, and things of this nature. In our training, she had mentioned to us the, the power of influence. She spoke about that each and every one of you in this training have the power to influence your current teams in the workplace. And all it takes is for you to break the cycle. Thankfully for me, up until this point, I've just moved into a new team um, and I've been there for about two or three weeks now. I've been pretty much saying dad jokes every time in our uh, daily team meetings, because I'll be honest, they aren't fun, if, if I was to use one word. They aren't fun, and I need fun, and a lot of people do need fun, and a little bit of playfulness, no matter what, where you are and what you're doing, in work, out of work. If there's no fun, no banter, if there's no sense of balance, where there is work, but we can also integrate personal. I'll be honest, it's just un-Australian, if that's the case. Uh, I hate to throw a national thing in there, but it's honestly true because I, I can, I'm qualified to speak on this topic because I've worked, this is my 35th, 35th or 36th job that I've had in my life. That doesn't include the businesses that I've operated before in the past. And I can say with certainty that if there is no fun, if there is no playfulness, if there is no integration of work and personal, it's not sustainable. People in the background might be scared to reach out just to ask a simple question. And that's where this training had come in and, and kudos to that place that I work at for identifying something of this nature because I took away a lot of value and I actually had highlighted to the trainer, I mentioned to her, that's I'm actually doing something similar at the moment. I'm you know ripping out a dad joke or I'm quite enthusiastic upon my greetings in the day, wishing everyone well, talking about the weather, talking about my weekend, more or less providing good spirits within the team. For example, last week, I believe it was on Friday, I, for whatever reason, a part of me is just like, hey, do something different. Just throw yourself into the, into the deep end. Do something that you would not ex usually do in a work setting. And I came in and I'm like, good morning, everyone. I'm wishing everyone a fantastic Friday. Uh, before I get into my um, hilarious dad joke of the day, I just want to mention to everyone that in order to win the day, you first need to win the morning. Make sure that you get up a little bit earlier, take advantage of the beautiful sunrise, go for a walk, 
move around, get yourself a big cup of coffee or a big cup of tea, write down your to-do list with the things that you would love to do and get things done. Even talking about it now, I smile because I the times that I have done this in previous places, the reception is generally 50-50, meaning 50% it's like, oh, yeah, cool, we, we vibe with that. Or the other 50% is just no reaction and it's not received quite well, but I don't care. As long as I'm not hurting anyone, I will always try something new, introduce a new concept, a new idea, break the cycle. And uh, I was sharing this with my trainer. She absolutely loved it. The reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is because just today we had a meeting at work and one of my fellow colleagues decided to raise an issue that she had within her current work. She was able to get some support from one of our team members and the situation was eventually resolved. I wouldn't even call it a situation that that that, that work was resolved. There was a bit of a challenge, a bit of a hurdle, got all sorted out. And she called it out and she called out the person that helped her. In that moment, in that space and time, I felt nothing but gratitude from almost every person in that team. And that is what is known as the ripple effect. That's what we're currently being trained in. And that little bit of a sprinkle, that little bit of an awareness, that bit of a spotlight on a situation, the likelihood of remembering it is a lot higher and implementing it and taking action of that new awareness goes through the roof and if it happens to one person it can happen to two then three then four then five and then so on and so forth the conclusion of this video is take what i have said today take it with a grain of salt again i don't know nothing <laughs> so if there is something in what i have said that you have found to be truthful or you know you could apply it into your work or your family or at a dinner with your partner or at a dinner with your kids take that time and invest that 30 seconds it's it, it probably won't even take 30 seconds invest that small bit of time and keep doing that because you're going to rewire the way that you behave in the public image or in the personal image depending on the context and setting if you can do that, you'll be surprised what opportunities will await for you because some crazy things have happened since I started doing that. People have been more welcoming. People are going out of their way to help me when I do need help at work because I'm very new to what I do. We all have to start somewhere. Practice makes progress at the end of the day. That's all I'm going to say. It just allows you to navigate through life a lot more easier and there's a lot more fun involved and vulnerability in that process if you can display it where you are human and you may need help with something in conjunction with being, bringing that attitude of gratitude or enthusiasm within whatever context or setting you will get help people will go out of their way step in for a few seconds or a few minutes to give you a helping hand and that right there that's good spirit that's not only good teamwork but that's as as that's the ripple effect collectively things can change but in order for things to change you need to change not a lot just the small things and on that note guys i appreciate you taking the time to watch this video these this is one of those important videos that i would love for you to remember or at least bookmark into your mind or write on a piece of paper and i wish you a fantastic day a spectacular week, a phenomenal month, and a splendid year. On that note, guys, love, peace, and bless.